It's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol M-A-R-A. -A. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And from a presentation standpoint, this is somewhat tricky uh, to discuss because there's a lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a day trader and you bought right there or you bought right there and you wanted to sell within 15.43 seconds, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. But if you care about the big picture of things, then sure, the price pulled back quite a bit today. But within the big picture, there's still plenty of opportunity for the bulls to build a higher base and therefore construct a long-term uptrend. So I'm gonna be talking about things from a grand scheme of things perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you just had a different strategy and you know perspective going into uh, the trade. So case in point, circling back to this green line here that I talked about in yesterday's video, they're at 20 cents. So just for argument's sake, not saying this will happen, but let's say the price actually still continues to pull down there, bounces around, and then heads back up. So again, I fully realize that if you're a day trader and you bought there or there, you know, you couldn't care less about 20 cents. But again, big picture perspective, what would that give us if that is what happened? It went down to 20 cents and then bounced. Well, you'd have a set of lows there. Previous set of lows would be down there and you still have stair steps going in the overall upwards direction. And that's what you wanna see. So that's why, uh, you know, I still say that the overall chart is bullish because again, the overall bulls still have an opportunity to build that higher base. Or if you wanna look at that as a quote unquote stair step, uh, you know, that, that could work too. The initial stair step here, and then if they can put this in as the new stair step, well then there you go, progress being made. Now, what about areas of resistance? First point still up here at 34 cents. Price did temporarily get above it this morning, but that didn't last very long. But now that we have more data, uh, there's another location where the sellers seem to have stepped in. And that's right here at 30 cents. You can see uh, late morning, early afternoon, whatever you wanna call it, three separate occasions in a row, the bulls try to get up through that 30 cent mark and just couldn't quite do it. So there seems to be some sellers now that have appeared at that point on the chart. So all in all, like I said, depending on your perspective, uh, you know, it, it varies, but from the grand scheme of things and the, the, the big picture of it all, bulls still have a chance to build upon this uptrend and construct a long-term uptrend. So we'll see how they close out the week tomorrow. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.